Hi folks, Pete here from Actions Cars and today I am showing you around my 2003 Toyota Corolla. This is a car that I've owned for getting on for three years now. Um, it's been a car that's been part of my own personal, I would say fleet, but it's not as glamorous as that, but my own collection of cars that I use. Um, it's kind of been a spare car really that I've used. Occasionally I've had to lend it to friends, family members and the odd customer even who has been prepared to take it on and insure it if their car's in for some service work. Um, it's been a great little car. It's uh, absolutely brilliant. I took it in part exchange three years ago, fell in love with it on the drive home from North Wales and I, I didn't want to basically sell it so I decided I'd just keep it because it was worth more to me um, than it was to sell. So here I am three years long later with very little to report apart from an annual MOT every year and a service. It's been typical of Toyota Corollas and Toyota have got a fantastic reputation for reliability, the Corolla in particular, and of course in particular this era of Toyota Corolla, um, this one being a 2003 model. Uh, this car's got the 1.6 litre VVTi engine, it's about 110 horsepower off the top of my head and because the car's quite light it feels pretty sprightly. And because it's got VVTi, it's got a little bit of a, a higher range, rev range, where you get a little bit more power. It's actually quite fun to drive. A Toyota back in the day had a reputation of being a little bit boring compared to the competition, say the Focuses and the Astras. But now, 21 years later, this car looks so much more appealing than an 03 plate Astra or 03 plate Focus. It's, it's stood the test of time, I think, absolutely brilliantly because it was never cool in the first place, it's never had the opportunity really to become uncool. But what the Toyota does do is it was built properly. It's got a very, very solid 1.6 litre petrol engine, with it, which is a cam chain as well. So you haven't got any cam belt to worry about. Um, and well, in the time I've owned it, I've probably done about 10 to 12,000 miles in, in just under three years. Never had a single issue with this car. It's been the most reliable car of anything. I've had loads of Range Rovers and Mercedes that I've used in the meantime myself, but the Toyota's always been the one that I just jump in, drive and enjoy. And because it's ULES compliant, it's also been the car that I've always gone to if I need to go to London or Bristol, because I can just jump in this, I haven't got to worry about, because a lot of my own personal smokers tend to be a diesel and a little bit older, because I like that sort of thing. Um, and they, they're not ULES compliant. The, the 03 plate Toyota Corolla, is you less compliant which is great news for me and hopefully great news for you as well if you're watching this so i'm quite i'm quite sort of precious with this car i love it it's been brilliant one thing i have had done is i have these headlights re-lacquered so as they look crystal clear and i think they do make the car look a lot more youthful than it was previously i've also have little bits of touching up done on it here and there and I'm looking at it now and I can see it's first time I've cleaned it for a while a little bit of rust starting to come on the bottom of this door by here look very slight bit but it's still solid overall for a 21 year old Japanese hatchback it is in very very good condition not immaculate but good so there's a little mark by there I don't know what happened there it's not from me, but I have lent it to friends and family members, as I said, so, you know, these things happen. It is a used car. Overall, if you put a private plate on it, you would not think this car was 21 years old, would you? I think it's aged remarkably well. And, yeah, I think it's going to go on for, for a long, long time for someone. It's done 84,000 miles now. Um, not a lot for the year, is it? Look how clean that interior is. When I bought it, it was from a girl who had a farm and I've got the original Toyota mats even in it, the, the driver's ones in the uh, in the back. She, it was all original, but you know, she hadn't cleaned it for years and it wasn't until I got it back. I, I fell in love with it on the drive, decided I was gonna keep it, got it home. When I cleaned and polished it up, it looked like this. Couldn't believe it. Couldn't believe my luck. Is the back and it's got a pretty much full service history with it this car has as well because it was there was a lot of history with it when i bought it and i've had it serviced every year when i've mot'd it which i'm happy to provide a record for from our own garage so 
all the servicing's up to date. See, everything's just shut, shut with a nice little thud. There's a lot of junk in this boot because I've been using it. Let's have a look. Well, it's not a lot of junk, but there is a couple of bits still in there. But yeah, you get the, the idea. It's actually got one of those hard sort of mats. So underneath the floor, like new. And it's got a spare tire under there as well. Let's have a look inside. I've still got two keys for this car as well. I've got the, uh, what they call the, the original service key. I've got the, and then I've got this one, which I've put a bit of a cover on, which looks all right. But the remote doesn't work on it, just to warn any prospective buyers. It's never really bothered me. I just use the key in it, but the remote doesn't work. Right, let's just take the steering lock off. Let's fire it up for you. So there you have it. Put the dials on so you can see them a bit better. I don't know if you can hear that, but it's very smooth, this engine. I'm going to give it a very quick rev. You see how eager it is? I mean, the revs are really, it is a revy little engine. Why people said these were not fun, I've no idea, because it actually zips along, this thing does. Um, it's not boring at all. Not to me, it's not, anyway. Uh, what's boring about reliable? It's, maybe that's what they mean. You don't have the excitement of the breakdown in the Toyota. This, honestly, has been the best car I've ever owned, um, bar none, in terms of just being super, super reliable. I can jump in this anywhere, anytime, go anywhere, and I know it'll get me there. It has got air conditioning, and I have had it really cold, but I do think it's probably due a regas. I mean, it's not the time of year, really, is it, for... It does feel cold, but it's not the best time of year to be testing it because it's pretty cold anyway out there at the minute. There is a change in engine note when I do that, so it probably is working. It might need a little bit of a regas. We can pop some gas in it um, for anyone who wants this car. Why am I selling it? That's the thing. I don't even know why I'm selling it. I'm just not using it. That's the problem. I'm not using it. And a little Skoda's come up, come about, which I showed you the other day, which I thought, well, that's quite handy because I'm doing a house up at the minute as a van. And I've got too many cars on my own, of my own. You know, my job's to sell them, not to store them and keep them. So something has to go. And, and the Toyota, unfortunately, is the one that has to go to make room for, for my Skoda Roomster. Probably making a big mistake, really, because as good as Skoda is they're just not quite as reliable as one of these these are next level um, but yeah it's got loads of storage in it pretty practical actually I've got a little bit under there as well got another coffee cup more under there um, <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna be sorry when it goes actually I'm gonna be quite sad now I had it MOT'd literally i'll double check the dates and it'll be all, all the details will be in the the item uh description on here so have a look in the uh, in the description of this video and you will see all the juicy details of my car i had it mot though i think back in july pretty sure that's when it was due and the only thing it failed on was well it didn't fail it it needed a tire for its uh advisories and i haven't had that done because i haven't done any miles since that mot so, um, before I sell this car, before it goes out to a new customer, I will replace that tyre on the car so as it basically has a clean bill of health from the MOT and we'll get it quickly checked over again for whoever buys it. But it is all up to date in terms of servicing and, uh, and MOTs. It's HBI clear. It's not perfect. Nothing in this price range is perfect. But it's one of the most solid cars of all time and it's a very low mileage example with only 84,000 miles, genuine, genuine 84,000 miles from you. And I think it looks as good as anything that you will pick up for under two grand. So if you're looking for the most reliable car that you can buy for under two grand cash, this is the one. Trust me on that. Um, I'll say two grand cash, actually. Cash, bank transfer, chocolate buttons if there's enough of them we're happy to do a deal with you. In fact, if you've got an old card of hard exchange, we'll consider that. 
So just hit me up with what you got. My number's 07932 873646. I'm happy to deliver this car anywhere in the UK as well. If it's relatively local, it'll be free. If it's a little bit further afield, we're in South Wales. So if you're in Scotland, there's going to be an additional charge. But I'm still happy to deliver it. So give me a call again. Let me know um, what you're looking at, what you're thinking. My number is 07932873646. And I would be absolutely over the moon to do one last road trip trip in my little Corolla. Candy, your name is. She's Candy the Corolla. But you can name her whatever you want if you buy it. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope it's been of interest and I hope that uh, if you've enjoyed our video today, you have already hit that subscribe button. But if you haven't, please just, you know, do it now. That'd be great. And also hit the notifications and you will be kept abreast of all the cars that we've got coming into stock. So, uh, well, thanks for watching. Have a great day wherever you are. And I will leave you to peruse Candy the Corolla. I'm off. Goodbye for now.